Hi lovelies and welcome back to Chidera X Lifestyle. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be answering a question that I wish someone had made a video in my time, like before I came to Canada to answer. And that uh, that question is, do I need a transit visa coming to Canada from Nigeria? So yeah, I had um questions about this. It was also a very, very complicated issue for me because at the time I was looking for flight flights were so expensive i want to cry flights were super expensive and the ones that were, that were quite cheap were the ones that the ones that were quite cheap were a bit suspicious then i had to research and then i found out that those countries that were having a layover in those countries require transit visa let's get into the video guys <laughs> First of all, I had a very, very weird comment on my travel vlog video where someone was saying, um, why does everybody, why do you have to do the same thing as everybody else? That not everybody's going to have um, layovers, that some people take direct flights. I said direct flights, Bikunu. I went on Google and I checked. I did direct flights from Nigeria to Canada, please. Human beings are there. And the answer is no, we have no direct flights from Lagos to Canada, please. All the flights require layovers. And what and and I think the person mentioned that because I mentioned that it's nice to have um a layover with sufficient hours so you won't miss your flight in case in case in case your flight delays and in case one flight delays and maybe you have to go through baggage claim or stuff like that but that's by the way so let's get into the video do you need a transit visa yes and no if you're going through paris and you're going from lagos to canada through paris you do not need a transit visa to stop over or to lay over at paris people will say are you sure i'm sure because i laid over at paris i have nothing like a transit visa or even a visa to paris or a visa to any EU, in eu country so where you would need a transit visa is if you have layovers at if you have layovers at two schengen countries so let's see okay so the schengen countries we have we have like 26 european countries that are schengen countries so let's say if you have a stopover at um if you have a layover at paris and then you have a layover at greece i'm just saying or let's say you have a layover at paris and you have a layover at Belgium, or you have a layover at Amsterdam, or you have a layover at Paris, then you do need a transit visa. So you need to avoid flights that have um, layovers at two Schengen countries because, in that case, you will need to leave. I know prior to, I know before the um, Paris had um, requirements for transit visas, but they have lifted that they've long lifted that you don't need a transit visa if you're going through Paris. And but you do need a transit visa if you have a layover at US. So if you are coming from Lagos to Canada and you have a layover in the United States of America, my dear, you're gonna need a transit visa. Even if you're staying for five minutes or two minutes, so long as your flight lands on US soil, you're gonna need a transit visa. And if you don't have a transit visa, I don't know what's gonna happen, but let's not find out, okay? And um if you have a visitor's visa to, to us or you're a citizen of us or you know any of those things you don't need a transit visa but if you don't have a visitor visa or any form of visa to the us and you don't have a citizenship or a green card or permanent residency in the us and you want to go to canada through the us they're not going to let you lay over without a transit visa so that's extremely important because when i was looking for flights i saw extremely cheap cheap flights I saw really cheap flights and the layovers were at maybe um the layovers were at GFK or um the second airport in I forgot where the right one is. But yeah, the, the, I, there was a layover at GFK and it was really cheap but I needed a transit visa. And I'll let you know that a US transit visa takes just as long as a US visitors visa. So you cannot get a US transit visa within one month or two months. You can't even expedite that. You can't even you can't even expedite to get a u.s transit visa the annoying thing is that a u.s transit visa costs the same as a visitor's visa takes as long as a visitor's visa lasts only for that trip that you're going so like it made no fiscal sense it made no financial sense at all for me to get a u.s transit visa no matter how cheap the flight was paying that 185 dollars for my visa just for one trip and you won't even get the visa because 
the appointment date currently when i was checking was they were saying 2024 from from the middle of 2023 they said the next appointment date was 2024 so there was no way so you need to be mindful of that you want to mistakenly book a flight and you find out you need a transit visa you will not have to be looking for how you want to refund and all those things but guys we do have flights from paris and um we do have flights with one day over at paris they don't require a transit visa one advice i'll have for you is that please if you think you're gonna travel to canada you're just thinking please book your flights early you can book your flight early and you can find out okay you can book um flexible flight tickets that would allow you maybe change the dates or allow you that would be easy for a refund please book on time i beg you don't be like me book on time and be careful about the transit visa. and the answer is no you do not need a transit visa if you have one day over at paris if you have a day over at two schengen countries and yes paris is a schengen country you would definitely need a transit visa so avoid flights like that okay so guys that brings me to the end of this video i believe i've answered this question coming to canada do i need a transit visa if i wasn't clear about anything at all please ask me more questions in the comments i'm waiting to answer you can comment on other videos you would like to see me do this video was because i got a lot of a lot of questions about transit visas and i decided to make a public service announcement Thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was informative don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share and lastly tell a friend to tell another friend to tell their plenty friends to please like my video to please share it please comment thank you guys so 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 much